Greeting, my fellow modelers. I hope you are all doing very well. Presenting from the Quick Build series of Fiddler's Green is Seversky. Seversky? Seversky? SEV S2 Racer. Please, if you can, visit fiddlersgreen.net. Trust me, this can be the start of a beautiful journey. And here is the SEV S2 Racer. So, of course, you are used to the military version. And here is the racing version. Looking at the landing gear. The details here is the stabilizer, the flaps, the wing, the fin, the wing root fairing, the prop blade, the cowling, and the engine plate. So basically, this is how it goes together. Let's see how it goes together. I'm very interested in the landing gear fairing. Pretty unique. Of course, to do this, we're going to need some tools, yeah? So, steel rule. Some toothpick, very important. My super glue. Any super glue can do, but this. Aline's tacky glue, I am not paid, but it's the greatest glue I have known. Scissors, cake decorating tool, a brush handle, tweezers, many tweezers, can't get enough, exacto knife, and you're good to go. So, in cutting out the parts, we start with the fuselage, the stabilizer. We cut the pieces out so that we can focus on what we're building. Besides, it makes it very much easier for me. This is just my own way of dealing with it. So let's start with the fuselage, yes? Starting with the rearmost section, we're cutting out the thickness and you have to realize it's not just a one cut for the stabilizer, it's twice, so pay attention to that carefully. Then we're going to use our brush handle to gently fold, but then when it comes to the top, you realize how much of a sharp curve I put in there before I glue that section together. Yeah, and pretty much that is it. Using our cake decorating tool, we're pressing down the back end so we flatten it. Here, the cockpit area. You notice I'm doing those bends right there. That is where the wing will join to it. Just bend the tabs in a little so that we join. So here's my thing. I look for where that yellow band is and that's what I use to try help align the fuselage sections. It works. So the cowling, I'm going to do everything. The engine plate and the cowling, everything as one section on the forward fuselage. So here we roll, the glue we put together, and then come the lengthy part. You see me bending that? That is now to accommodate the cowling which we're cutting out here. Now you look carefully, you see those strokes on it? That is to cut to help form the cowling. Look what I am doing with my brush handle. You notice how I'm curving it as we go around. So we're going to form a compound curve two way. Then I use a cake decorating tool to run on the inside. Then I use even the smaller part to make it more pronounced. So this is just my method of helping me shape it. You can find anything that will help you shape it, but this works for me. We glue that part together, and then we're going to attach it to our main cowling. Now, remember, the model is not 100% accurate, so if it is out by a bit, you can always undo and re-glue, and you're good to go again. But this is my method, and it works. 
yeah nice curve both ways then we're going to put the engine plate in now although you see it here I have doubled it by putting another card stock underneath when I glued it before I cut the engine out so it's pretty thick yes and then we're going to just simply put them in place it should go where the cowling is and you can adjust accordingly now here's it honestly before I glue it into place I should have probably colored the inside of that cowling so it's going to be a challenge but once we get that we secure it in place with super glue and we're good see looking pretty decent I honestly like how this model is coming out really nice really really good So now we're going to put the cowling onto the rest of the fuselage. Now there might be a little problem with aligning those yellow bar as I've spoken about but pay attention to where that break is. Yeah then we're going to put it together and here is it. You see how that cowling is not exactly 100%? Don't let it bother you because I may have not aligned it properly. I might not have glued it tight enough. There are several reasons why this could be, yeah? But you know what? It worked. As long as it worked, I am good with it. So the stabilizer, simple cutout, and then we fold, put, toothpick in the center that we stripped down glue and we're good to go check this out mark with our tweezer or fold over and don't worry about those crease lines or easy turn up we strip the toothpick put it there so that way it won't twist and bend anywhere we're good and then we only glue the edges see and that's a pretty straight, pretty firm wing. Of course, we trim as much as we can to make sure that it fits in place. Nice. Look at this. And once we make sure, we secure with super glue and that won't move. Pretty neat. nice the tail fin now ever since the mig 15 i've been hooked on once we cut the fin out we're not going to make it flat but we're going to leave space so that we can use a toothpick to strengthen it so here you see i'm using the steel rule to bend we're not making it flat. Then we only glue in the edge so that we leave the center open. You notice how I'm forming that curve? It'll make sense when you see the back of the fuselage. We're going to secure that with a little super glue in there. Then my usual go-to, we prod a hole, break a little toothpick, put it in there. So that will secure it, yeah? we apply glue to the base of the fin put it in place and look at the underside once i'm finished you will see see that flush looking good the center wing spar now i want you to pay attention because this is going to get a little technical so when we cut off the excess parts we're going to use a steel rule to bend it not flatten because it carries a curve on the top and flat on the underside yes so once we meet those parts flat against the board even if you see me gently pressing look you see that space that's important now we are going to 
bend the toothpick a bit. We're going to do two of those and then glue. These will form the dihedral for the main wing. Good. And you see both are fixed in place with super glue. We now deal with the wing panel and this wing panel will fit right into place quickly. So we fold along where they said to fold, cut the excess sheet off. Now pay attention. Notice it says top left surface. So we're going to put it on that side. Usual thing of doing the edge alone, put it against the surface to make it flat. Now I am cutting, slightly bending up those parts. Now watch. You notice that it's not stuck together. There is space there. I can slide. But now we have to cut a gap. We cut this gap out so that the toothpick can have easy rain. But look here. Nice. You see it fit? Once we make sure it fit, then we can glue everything together and that should not be a problem. Beautiful. We just lock that into place with our tweezer. Repeat the same for the next side. Now we may not be able to lock in place, but it should be good enough that we may not have to. And please check that you, the underside, everything is in. So now to align the underside, just make sure that the oil cooler area is aligned and then make sure it's right angle once we glue there you go that's how i did it it's just a rough calculation and then we secure in place with super glue both sides wipe it down and we're good that will be covered with the wing fairing so even if it looks messy don't worry about it this is what will hide it and make it clean enough. So we just cut out our wing fairing and then we are going to put compound curve. One, we're going to curve the front of the fairing and then we're going to apply a curve at that. And then we're going to just slide him right there. Make sure everything fit nicely and repeat to the other side. You see at this point now I'm using even the toothpick to form the compound curve. Look at this. You notice the paper is not torn. I just simply bend it. So paper can be bent without it tearing. Yes. And fairing is in. Nice. Check the back side. Make sure everybody is good and let's move on. The canopy is really two piece. So let's just divide it and work on the front. This should not be difficult. Just make sure that you don't bend the front of the pilot screen because that is flat. See, we make sure the part what we join, we just fold over and then we join the screen where it's flat right there. Good. Then we just pretty much finish off joining the other rest of it. The rear section, we use a ruler to fold it and then we join the tail end. And don't worry about that look, that angular look, it is to look that way. Just be careful when you're gluing and just make sure you glue along the seam. And then we just apply to the model. 
Gee, she's looking pretty. And at this part now, I am going to get crazy and decide I want to paint. And this part, I usually leave for the end, but I could not help myself. I just wanted to get rid of the white edges. So after mixing the color and make sure it's right and it's watercolor, I start to go in and color everywhere that I could currently get to just make sure it looks a little more presentable, a little more believable. And thank you Fiddler's Green for providing this kit. I know that many people probably experience this, but it's a beautiful little kit. Yeah? Nice. So landing gear assembly and installation, this is going to take a while. So buckle up and let's look at how it's done. After we cut our main landing gear out, we're going to put a tiny split right there in the center. In this, we're going to put a sliver of toothpick that we have cut. The tiniest soft toothpick and then we're going to glue everything. So this will add the strength to the wheel so it won't collapse under its weight. And then we just get rid right of the rest once we join it, yeah? You repeat the process for the other side and we're good. Here you see I am looking for where to put holes. So this is my estimate where to put holes, which later on I'm going to find out is not the correct place. But for now, just putting it on the wheels, I felt pretty good. So what we're looking at here is putting in the housing for the retract wheels. It's very interesting. So this go on the underside of the trailing edge of the wing. It is very interesting that in pursuit of streamlining aircraft back then you get to see some of the thinking behind it and it was interesting so here you see i'm putting this into place and then we will lock the other side in and we'll focus on the main landing gear so based on that now this is the covering the streamline covers actually for the main landing gear on the forward section. So it has a slight bend. And this now is attached to the leading edge. And now you see why I'm saying, we have to be careful where you put the installation area. So you see I'm making a hole now. So that's where the landing gear actually goes. And then we're going to now put in the fairing for the landing gear at the front, as you can see there. Not bad, not bad. It actually is a good representation of the aircraft. I'm pretty pleased with how this has turned out. The tail wheel, we just treat it same as the main wheel. And we attach to the rear, solidified with super glue, and we're good. So let's try finish this baby. We're going to put in the wing flaps and the oil cooler. So in cutting out the flaps, I said, let's put in the internal color for the flaps. So I use a form of green to color before I cut out. It's not the perfect color, but I didn't want it plain white. Then I'm using the glue to just tack it in position, put it on an angle, and then super glue to lock it down. The oil cooler, I should have painted the inside or colored it, but it is what it is. And then we just put that into position, make sure put the little curve in, and then glue, and then fix in position. And that's it. Those two things that the eyes look left and right, that's actually exhaust area where the engine muffler would have been. So yeah, it's a thing. The propeller assembly, pretty much, this is a toothpick. And you notice how I put glue on the edge, then I wrap it with paper, and then I roll it. So this will be how I form the hub. And I then punch a hole in the center there. 
super glue in place and then that is silver paint I paint the entire blade it adds to it yes and paint even the part of that toothpick slide it in position and super glue it and pretty much this is the model I want to thank all my patreon members and you who come here every week to look at the model i certainly enjoy presenting it to you so take care of yourself guys and as usual you know the drill be gentle and one love <laughs>